around Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Starring William Conrad, the story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal. The first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. Mr. Dillon, this trip down from Hayes City seems to get longer every time. Yeah, it's sure longer when it's hot, Chester. That's just what I was thinking. Hey, Mr. Dillon? Yeah? Do you suppose the ground sort of stretches out like when the sun's burning down real strong? <laughs> That's an interesting idea, Chester, but no, I don't suppose... Hey, Chester. Hmm? Look over there. Yeah, smoke. Something on fire out there. Yeah. Come on, let's go see what it is. Wagon, Mr. Doom, but there sure ain't much left of it. That's pretty far gone, all right. Get out, Chester. Apparently, I don't rightly see where anybody could be. Maybe he's down on the other side of the wagon. You just keep your head low, Chester. Stay down, Chester. Just don't seem right. Nobody's shooting at us. Nobody's shooting. Listen there. Those cartridges are gone off by themselves, Chester. What? They're in the wagon. The fire made them explode. Mm. Well, I guess maybe that. Guess that could happen, all right. Yeah. That sounds like that was the last one. Well, I'd just soon be sure, Mr. Dillon. Now, I don't mind being shot at by somebody I can see, but... Come on, Chester. Let's have a look around. Well, look here, Mr. Dillon. What? What? One of them new carbines. Don't seem like it's ever been fired. Here, let me see it. Yeah, That's a new army model, Chester. Don't look like no army wagon over there, though. No, it doesn't. Now, let's take a closer look. It sure is a mess, ain't it? Stuff throwed all around it. Gracious, don't it smell, though? You know what that is, Chester? That's whiskey. Must have exploded. Soaked everything. Whew, that sure is a terrible smell. Must have been terrible whiskey. It seems to me there ought to be somebody around here, wouldn't you? Mr. Dillon? Yeah, I see it. Come on. boots sticking out. He's dead, Mr. Mellon. Yeah. Shot in the back. Maybe one of them exploding shells, guy. No, Chester. By the looks of things, somebody shot him before that. It looks like he's trying to get away, don't he? Well, I... 
I hope the woman made it. Woman? What woman? The woman who belongs to the things that are strewn around here. Oh, yes, sir. You reckon they shot her, too? Well, maybe if she was lucky, they did. Well, let's get the horses and have a look around. <laughs> We'd find her now, is it, Mr. Dillon? It don't seem to me she could have wandered this far. No, I guess not. But we'll have a look along the creek before we turn back. The ladies I've known ain't been much good at walking very far, I'll tell you that. Of course, I ain't know them Wait all. a minute, wait a minute, listen, Judge. What? Be quiet. Yeah. Come on. They're down the bank here. He's there, Mr. Nell. Yeah. Gun. Fire. My boy. Ma'am. My boy. Ma'am, we uh, we've come to help you. Guns. My boy. Dead. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, we know that, ma'am. Uh, are you hurt? Running. To die. Die. Oh, you're, you're not going to die, ma'am. Oh, it sure ain't making no sense. No. Here, help me turn her over, Chester. Uh, uh, take it easy. Uh, <sighs> yeah. Gun. There's a gunshot. Across the back of her head. Uh, Is she hurt bad? I can't oh, tell, Chester. We better get her to dock. Uh, Look, uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, you go in and dodge and find a wagon. Uh, and I'll stay here till you get back, huh? Well, but uh, what about the other? The man back there at the fire? Uh, well, nothing's going to help him now. Uh, go on, hurry, will you? sure I can tell you if she'll make it or not. Yeah. That wound must have been worse than it looked. It's not the wound so much. Oh, well, of course, that's part of it, but it's more her mental state. I can't get to her. I can't even get her name out of her. Uh-huh. Uh, when do you think she might be able to talk, Doc? I don't know. These things can go either way. She could... Suddenly snap out of it, or she could suddenly sink deeper. I just don't know. Well, you, you let me know if there's any change, will you, Doc? Sure, I will, not. Because without her help, I, I'm never going to know what happened out there. It sure is hard to understand women, ain't it, Mr. Dillon? Oh, what got you to thinking about that, Chester? Well, that woman we picked up near that fire. Yeah, what about her? Well, she just kept going on about her boy all the time. And I tell you, that fellow we buried wasn't no boy. He was 50 if he was a day, I'll bet you. Now, Chester, some women just go on thinking like that. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, now, Mr. Dillon, ain't we going in here for a beer? I'm as dry as can be. You see that horse tied there? Sure, I do. Look at the gun in the booth. I declare, Mr. Dillon, 
It's carbine, a brand new army carbine, just like the one we found out that far. Yeah. You know whose horse it is? No, sir, I sure don't. Looky here, there's initials carved here in the saddle leather. I R or either L R. No, it's J R. J R. All right, Chester, let's go in. Trouble on the prairie a few miles from town. Oh, bad trouble? Yeah, it was bad enough. Kitty, uh, hmm? anybody around here today with the initials J.R.? J.R.? Yeah. You're not looking for Johnny Ringo, are you? No, I hope not. I'll try again. J.R. Yeah. Oh, well, sure. Joe Ramsey came in. <laughs> I don't know what he needed with a saloon. No? no? What do you mean? He already smelled like the inside of a whiskey barrel. He did? Oh. Is he still here? Oh, I... Yeah, yeah. Way back there. What? Table near the end of the bar. Um, you see? You know which one he is? I can tell. See you later, Kitty. All right. <laughs> Ramsey. Yeah? Hello, Marshal. I, uh, I want to talk to you. Well, sure. Sure, Marshal. Sit right now. No, I... I think you better stand up. Oh, I see. Now, Marshal, you got no call to talk rough to me. Come on. I Stand up. I ain't done nothing. Where did you get that army carbine? What carbine are you talking about? You know what carbine I'm talking about, Ramsey. The one outside on your saddle. Now, where did you get it? Well, Marshal, there ain't nothing wrong about it. Where did that. you get it? I found it. Where did you find it? Well, it was just laying there. I picked it up, and that's all. Picked it up where? Well, just out of town away. I, I don't recollect exactly. Out Elder Creek Way, maybe. Oh. Uh, huh? Yeah, Marshal, I guess it could have been out near there someplace. You near. know it was, Ramsey. Now, do you want to tell me about it? Nothing to tell. I just found the... How about the burning wagon? Marshal, I didn't have nothing to do with that. You just let it burn. Well, there it? wasn't no way I could stop How it. How did you get the gun? I... Marshal, it was just laying there. I come across it some ways from the wagon. I picked it up. But there's nothing wrong with that. How about the man lying there in the bushes? I didn't have nothing to do with him. You didn't try to help him? He was dead, Marshal. There's nothing I could do with him. I think it. you shot him, Ramsey, and then I think you rummaged through the rest of the stuff in the wagon, drank all the oh, whiskey no. you could hold, and you poured the rest out and set fire to the whole mess. No, Marshal, we'll I swear to you. find out. You're coming with me. Oh, no, I ain't. Chester. Chester, Mr. John. I'm taking Ramsey to jail. You take care of his horse and bring along that carby, will you? Yes, sir. All right, come on, Ramsey. she doing here? Uh, she came out of it and insisted on seeing you. I'll bring her into the office. i got to lock this man up. Sure. Come along, ma'am. Marshal. I want to talk to the marshal. Why, uh, you, you just come with us, ma'am. Right in here. 
You ain't taking me in. Oh, no, stop, Ramsey. No. Stop or I'll shoot. Shoot a man down. You shouldn't have run. Doc, is he hurt bad? No, I don't think so. You you just winged him in the arm. All right, come on, Ramsey, get up. Doc can take care of you after you're in jail. Oh, I must talk to the marshal. Sure, ma'am, I'll be with you in just a minute. I got to lock this man up. You should be glad we caught him. Not glad. He was out there when your wagon was burning. Looks like he's the one who did it. Oh, no, Marshal. There. There, Marshal, you see, I told Shut you. Shut up, I... Ramsey. He didn't do it, Marshal. But you see who did? Didn't have to see. I did it. Did it myself. You did it? What? Oh, for heaven's sake. Yes, sakes. Marshal. I killed him. I burned the wagon. I tried to kill myself, too, but I didn't hold the gun right. Doc, does she know what she's saying? I'm afraid she does, ma'am. I know what I'm saying. And I know why I did it. Go on. He was selling things, Luther was. Selling them to the Indians. Little whiskey. A few bullets, some guns... He told me he'd packed my mother's china in that box. And it was guns. Guns for the Indians. And you killed him for it? Guns for the Indians. Same Indians who killed my boy. My straight young boy. Fighting with the troopers at Laramie. I see. I killed him. And I burned everything. And I tried to kill myself, too. Why couldn't I do that, Marshal? Why couldn't I put a finish to it? Well, I... I'm not the one to answer that, ma'am. <laughs> Doc, take her inside, will you? I'll be right there. Sure, ma'am. No finish. No end to it. Oh, you, you come along. Huh. All right, Ramsey. You can go on up to docks and wait there, I guess. Mm. Next time, maybe you won't be so quick to shoot an innocent man. Next time, you won't run, maybe, like a guilty one. Uh, I took care of the horse, Mr. Jones. Here's the car, Bean. You want me to lock this pull up? No, Chester, he didn't do it. The woman did the woman it killed her husband, set all that fire. Yeah, she did it all. Well, what are we going to do with her? I mean, what will the judge do? I don't know, Chester. But I do know one thing. What's that? Whatever happens to her now, it won't matter to her at all. <laughs> and directed by Norman McDonald stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. The story was specially written for Gunsmoke by Marion Clark with editorial supervision by John Meston. Join us again next week for another story on Gunsmoke. Gunsmoke.